is the brokenness of Jesus Christ. When we see him in Gethsemane, would you imagine that someone who's walked on water and raised up Lazarus and cast out devils and demons, could you imagine that he would get to Gethsemane and be broken? After he had stopped the death dirt that was going on to the widow of Nain, Can you imagine someone who's turned water into wine would get to Gethsemane and then say, Father, let this cup pass. How many times have you been in life and you said, Lord, do I have to go through this? I've been through this, I've been through that, I've been through the other, but now do I really have to go through being discarded or abandonment? or being forsaken, or being talked about, or the loss of loved ones, or families, or jobs, or things that are very significant to us. Sometimes it seems to barrel to the heart, or to start to do something good, and to be evil spoken of. Sometimes we get in a quandary in life, and that quandary has a tendency to eclipse our good. And we're broken, we just don't know which way to turn. Have you not been there? Well, let me tell you the backside of what you're going through. You're being broken so you can touch somebody. Broken so you can heal somebody. Broken so you can pick somebody up. You're being broken so you can bring somebody out. Broken so you can establish a life. Broken so you can say, if he did it for me, he can do it for you. So in spite of all your going through Oh! 
Silence. 